How cost efficient is the 7050i series forage harvester in challenging real life situations? Join us as we travel with this machine across Europe along with the magazine Profi and the Cologne University of Applied Sciences. I think this is a very interesting project and we in Cologne are happy to take part. The 7050 series forage harvesters are built in Zweibrücken for the entire global market. At the heart of the 7050i is the cutter head known for its perfect harvesting quality. On June the 4th, 2010, we visit the 7750i at the second location where it will be put into action, the AgroFarm 2000 in Vogtland. Gerhard Feustel is the production manager here. It's especially important to him that the silage be of high quality. We're now working on the third campaign with the John Deere forage harvester of the 7550i series. Through the automatic cutting length control, depending on the dry stuff content of the forage, we have no problems with the silage heating up or mold building and the like. The next morning in the parking lot, Gerhard Feustel marks the acreage of grass to be harvested today. Markus Hesselmann and Gottfried Eichel from Profi magazine check out the machine before we drive to the first field. High yield and straight windrows thanks to Autotrack, the ideal preconditions for putting the performance of the 7750i to the test. Using the GPS position, the forage harvester automatically recognizes the correct field. And now it's time for the machine to give its best. The clock is running. The result, after several repeated runs, impresses everyone involved. Up to 280 tons at peak output with just 0.4 liters per ton fuel consumption. Maybe we've set a record. Grünroggen in Upper Bavaria on July the 8th, 2010, our John Deere harvester is at work for Rainer Wagner's contracting business in the county of Eichstätt. The shadows are getting longer. The contractor Rainer Wagner pays a visit to his colleague Stefan Gassner. A clear difference is the ejection, the blower, an enormous difference. It throws out a regular bundled stream. Really super. Having booked 740 motor hours and 460 cutter head hours, it continues its European tour and arrives at the commercial business Froning in Münsterland in late September 2010. There, Profi puts the 7750i to strenuous tests. The new crop accelerator impresses again. The motor is definitely very powerful and together with the gearbox handles peak performance demands very well. Here in the flatlands of the Munsterland, you don't notice the difference moving between full power and taking over. The speed is so smoothly adjusted. This means a big saving in fuel consumption. We can use the machine in this area with just under 30 litres. The new crop accelerator impresses again. We leave Münsterland and arrive at the contracting business of Hartmut Brockmann in Saalhusen, Schleswig-Holstein. How much is it possible to harvest here in our region in 24 hours? And the traveler on its European tour sets out for an extreme test, 24 hours harvesting maize non-stop. Hartmut Bockmann gives his team a few last-minute instructions. 
We're here on the biogas sector to take part in a 24-hour endurance test with the 7750i. Here you're allowed to make on-the-fly vehicle switches while harvesting. But safety is always the top priority. At exactly 10 a.m., the start pistol goes off. That means pedal to the metal, all sails ho for our 7750R. Suddenly, Hartmut Brockmann's 7950i appears. The two harvesters go up against each other on equally sized 6.3 hectare parcels. The 7750i doesn't have a chance against its bigger sibling. The 24 hours are over. The 98.6 hectares and 3,860 tonnes are more than Hartmut Brockmann would have expected from a 625 horsepower machine. We've never reached this level of performance in this time span, especially not with this diesel fuel economy. We say goodbye to the machines for the winter break. In mid-April, the tour starts again near Rennes in Brittany. Plenty of work is coming up since grass and alfalfa are waiting to be harvested for a large dry fodder company. Up to now, the company had been working with bunker harvesters and semis. This year, the company is going to try the conventional method and hopes to sink the costs of silage production with the help of the 7750i. The operator controls everything by hand. The multifunction joystick is very ergonomically designed, a really comfortable cabin. Everything is there to optimize your performance. And it continues. The field layout here is relatively small and an average field measures under two hectares. Here, a buck decides to show off in a show of speed. He springs in graceful bounds to the next acre. Every year we process approximately 40,000 tons of cattle feed. We mainly store the yield from 1,500 hectares of clover and 1,000 hectares of maize. The 7750i harvests 600 hectares here, but the yield, less than 10 tons per hectare, is very low. After these days of difficult operation with little yield, the next stop is England. Here in modest Cornwall, Torsten Meyer of Cologne University of Applied Sciences and contractor Kevin Haywood are planning their day. Anthony Wills fires the starting pistol for this day's run. And in contrast to France, the windrows here are huge. With over 10 tons of dry mass per hectare, the 15 trailers are filled and ready in record time. Kevin struggles through the narrow lanes of Cornwall to reach today's last field. Now in the last few and done more than I expected. Um, it's been uh, yeah, a good day. We've covered quite a few acres today, um, and the uh, the yield's been quite high. Uh, the 7750 has more than met our expectations, and the fuel consumption has been good. Working on different farms back in Germany, we harvest a total of 800 hectares GPS. We compare the profit cut with the new Kemper 375 Plus, which permits a speed of up to 12 kilometers per hour in wet barley and wheat.
In early August, the Italy stage begins. In Italy, the 2011 yields are also better than they were in 2010. Contracta Nota uses our 7750i for several days. The two brothers have five John Deere forage harvesters of their own and are amazed at the performance of the 7750i. Over the entire journey, every single hour of the over 2,500 hour tour was documented by the Cologne University of Applied Sciences. The results left no room for doubt. Logistics and structure are the key, and the new motor and gear management achieved sensationally low fuel consumption, even under the most difficult conditions. The corn blades lasted for 2,048 hectares. The Jura line parts didn't show any signs of wear after over 160 tons of crop flow. The new 7050i series Harvesting has never been so cost efficient. More details and infos are available from Profi and John Deere. Copies of the full-length film which provides detailed first-hand coverage of the tour are available from the editors of Profi.